On September 7, 2019, the Golden Ray, a huge ship carrying cars, glides into the harbor, but soon it's caught in a dangerous adventure at sea, leading to a thrilling salvage mission like no other. Enter the VB-10,000, a heavyweight champion of the seas. This behemoth of a vessel isn't just any ship, it's a marvel of engineering. Equipped to tackle the toughest salvage jobs with finesse. Picture it as a giant saw and crane combined, meticulously slicing through the wreckage of the Golden Ray, salvaging hope piece by piece. As the Golden Ray teetered on the brink of catastrophe, heroes emerged from the depths. The US Coast Guard, with their unwavering courage, swooped in to contain the chaos and rescue those in peril. Their bravery knew no bounds as they navigated treacherous waters to save lives. I think we got three or four people severely injured. I don't know how they get on board. I think they're gonna need a helo crew. The moment that we got the call for the Golden Ray, I was actually on duty. We heard that 25 people were in the water and that was pretty much the only information that we had. When you're getting your gear on and getting ready, the things that are going through your mind, you're just Trying to, trying to play out every scenario you can based on the information that you have, just to try to prepare yourself for what you might, might come upon. Getting on scene, we saw the container ship pretty much flipped over on its side. The other helicopter told us that there were still people on the bridge wing we talked as a crew and decided that they would put me down onto the ship. And I actually used the fire hose like a rope and pretty much rappelled down the fire hose into the bridge so that I could make contact with the captain and the harbor pilot. He was able to sift through the chaos of the scene and prioritize and execute his mission. I retrieved the fire hose and swung a, an end over to him. Because he was wearing a life jacket, I, I thought, okay, just slide down the hose to the very bottom, and then he could climb out through the opposite door down to the water where there were small boats waiting. And so that's what he ended up doing. I ended up tying loops in the hose about an arm's length apart on each one from the point where the captain was up to my position and told him to climb it. And once he was close to me, grabbed him and pulled him out. If they were not there, then I may not be here to provide for my family and serve the state of Georgia. I'm just immensely grateful. Certainly one of the standouts that night was AST2, Nate Newberg. He absolutely embodies the core values of the Coast Guard and his character and performance were on display on that night. In the aftermath of the disaster, questions swirled about what went wrong. Investigations revealed a perfect storm of factors, from improper loading to unforeseen circumstances. The subsequent salvage operation was no ordinary task. Imagine riding a 38 to 600 ton behemoth 
a challenge likened to balancing a pencil on its tip. The golden ray spilled fuel into the waters off St. Simon's Island, posing a threat to the environment and prompting extensive cleanup efforts. The process involved cutting the ship into sections using a specialized heavy lift vessel, the VB-10,000, despite setbacks, including a line break during cutting operations. Progress continued steadily. Now, as we look ahead, the cleanup efforts continue. Teams work tirelessly to remove debris and restore the coastline. The VB-10,000 boasts an impressive lifting capacity capable of hoisting massive sections of shipwrecks like the Golden Ray with ease. The cost of this endeavor is substantial, with estimates exceeding $400 million in insurance claims alone. Among the vehicles found inside the Golden Ray were a variety of brands, including Ram pickups, GM crossovers, and Mercedes SUVs, all bearing witness to the vessel's unfortunate demise. In the end, the Golden Ray's legacy is not just one of a maritime mishap, but of a community united in overcoming adversity. a story that will be remembered long after the last remnants of the wreck have vanished from the horizon. Subscribe for more.